<laughs> no, nah, I was here like four years ago playing golf. So <laughs> different trip. Was but. that enjoyable? Not much golf huh? this week. No, no golf. No, no, no golf. Good place. I've been, you know, really good place. I've been good to be back. You know, but good to be back playing football. You've been a coach a long time and been around a lot, a lot of trips like this. I mean, what are the challenges of a, of a trip like this when you get over here and kind of get your bearings on the first couple of days? Well, I, I think, uh, as I talked earlier some, to the coach, our, our offensive staff, just be positive. I mean, the young kids, that they, you know, we travel a lot more than they have, and I've taken a bunch of teams different ways. But I think, uh, you know, and I asked the quarterback today, I said, how did you guys feel like yesterday? They go, oh, man, we've never been so tired, and we just got to – a little bit of a sweat and today started a little slow then we had a really good practice so that's just part of it you know it's the same thing i've been in the nfl some people when you travel east to west and you go on six different hours but we we're staying in a, a nice hotel really good nice hotel and and uh you know they've been good so we had a good practice today that was just the overall little fatigue I mean, with, with the jet lag coming off these first practices i mean you could tell yes we didn't push them yesterday it was kind of like getting it and it's you know uh and then you could see them as the practice rolled on. They just started getting back uh, their legs and everything else and, and feeling a lot better. And, and uh, I think uh, you know, tomorrow's a you know, fast day. We'll, we'll settle them in, and then Friday we'll clean up on a couple of things. We had a few mental mistakes today, but uh, overall it was pretty good. Scott, you had Casey, the starter. Obviously, you agree with that. Uh, what, what did you like about him in camp, and how's he looked? And what do you, what no, you, just your expectation level for him, given his experience? Well, just, you know, as I've said enough times, that taking care of the football and, and being a leader, but the leadership comes from your play and not from your mouth. So it's more like, hey, there's going to be a bump in the road. There's going to be something happens. It always does in the first game. You know, you know, it's we as coaches, you like to have everything in plan and in play, but very rarely does it happen in the first game. So I've uh, been on both ends of it. So um you know, get out of the first quarter without giving a game away, really, and then then settle in. And it's kind of the way we've been in our scrimmages throughout the spring and, and fall. So I certainly would like to change it. We'd like to start with a touchdown on the first drive, but so we'll see how that how that plays out. So um, you know, and I, I went over some of the third down stuff today and a little bit of red zone with them, and I'll I'll be have more of that with them Thursday and Friday on exactly what we're going to do in those situations. You feel like he's one over his teammates and they, you know, quarterback is about a leadership role. Yeah, you know, I don't know. It's not It's not politics. Yeah. So Saturday will find out, right? Yeah. You know, he's won me over. He's won coach over. And, and the other guys have really been pushing. And we got to have, as I said before, it's a really good room. Because I can be tough at times on a guy uh, that's the head guy, the, the, the quarterback, and that's why he needs support and um you know, as I said, and I think it's going perfect. And but I, I think we have a really good room. We do. We got good kids that, that care, that that work hard, that really help one another on some of the things that way. And uh, so they've been fun to be around. And you know, it's obviously a lot more fun when you win. You're obviously, you're obviously a big part of what's been a lot of change in this in these last eight months on the staff. You know, among the roster, this close to the opener. What makes you most confident that? This job of meshing everything together is going to go. Just the way the kids have bought in to, to uh, the, the, maybe the, the changes, and a lot of it's the same, a lot of it's different. Um, how hard they've worked, how they come closer as a team, as an offense. Um, I think they really care for one another. They're fun to be around. Um, as I said, in all time, we've really only had, we had one bad practice in spring out of 15, and then we had one bad one this this. This fall, which is probably, I don't know, 24, whatever day we were on. But they're attentive, the, the way they walk through, the way they do things. The younger guys are getting help by the older guys, which makes me feel like they know something. And uh, I think we've got a really good c group of coaches and really a bunch of really good kids. And uh, excited to see them perform on Saturday. When we talked to Casey, he seemed very uh, calm, methodical. Uh, almost. Uh, is that what you've seen, that he, he doesn't get rattled? Well, I, I try to. I, out, no, I don't. I, I try to do that as a coach. You know, it's like at this point, I'm like, rah, 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 you know, it's like that didn't help anybody. You know, my wife will tell you she's glad I'm here, right? In, in the first game, but uh, it, it's <laughs> you got to carry yourself with confidence to give confidence. So I, I've got to give those guys confidence. You know, 
hey, this is going to be, there's different calls. I'm going to screw one up. There's a lot of new verbiage on that I have to get used to. The quarterback, he's done a good job. He not only has to learn offense, both both sides, the run game and, and uh, the pass game. So does Chubba. So there's some things there that, uh, but he, he's done a really good job. So it's, uh, um, he knows me well enough that, I, you know, that uh, we have a really good relationship and spend a lot of time alone, which I have with all the quarterbacks. But, uh, you know, it's his time to, to go out and prove uh, why, why, he came, why he came here to Nebraska. How those receivers were? Two more. How the receivers were? Good. Yeah, really good. In fact, they were much, you know, as I said, we, re we worked them hard before we came out and got a lot of routes that way, but we want to get some things today. And I really like that. We had a few misses, but I'll clean those up on Friday. But we really don't want to run a real hard on, on Friday. We want to get, get our speed and be there for Saturday. Coach, uh, Coach Fitzgerald mentioned Monday that he feels like his defense is going to be at a disadvantage, at least at the start of the game, uh, because there's so many new aspects to uh, the Nebraska offense. What do you think about that? Do you, do you agree with that assessment? I don't know. I don't. You know, I'm just trying to do my job. Whatever he feels is right and not going to affect the game. I've never played against Northwestern, so, you know, I haven't played in the call plays in the Big Ten. So it's kind of like when I went to the ACC was the same thing. Certain personalities on that part, you know. I think after you play some teams a little bit, you get a feel for certain people that are calling it. And uh, so it's it's more worried about what, what we do is – how we're talking about is that it's not about them, it's about us, as we said since the day I got here. You know, we control what we can control, and that's all you can worry about. How's the Guinness? Uh, I don't, I don't, you know, I've been too tired. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I've been tired, drank enough of it four, four years ago to hold over for this trip. So, <laughs> have one.